Brooklyn Independent Television. Before Dodger Stadium ever existed, Washington Park Field was the home of baseball in Brooklyn in 1864. Lauren Moraski has more on baseball played the old-fashioned way. Imagine this, playing baseball with no glove. And the rule, a batter is out if a fair ball is caught on one bounce. That's how you would have played if you were living in 1864. On a recent Saturday in Park Slope, it was the 19th century all over again. Part of New York City's House Trust Festival weekend, the game saw two vintage teams taking the field. The Flemington Nishanik versus the New York Gothams. I decided to see if the spectators who came out to the Brooklyn game knew any of the 1864 rules. In the old time, I know that you had to peg the batter to get him out, and then if you caught the ball on a bounce, it was still an out. And it doesn't matter where the ball bounces, if it hits the ball, if it bounces fair, before it goes foul, it's, a, it's still fair. All right, I'm impressed. Let's hear what the experts have to say. This type of baseball started in the 1830s in the Madison Square Park in the city, and they were basically pickup games. They just started uh, playing the game and making up the rules so the game would change from year to year because they realized, hey, that doesn't look right, let's try it this way. The game today has not changed basically for the last 110 years. But back then, they said, okay, uh, the count used to be three balls and three strikes. Uh, that doesn't look right. Let's make it four balls and three strikes. They said, um, in 1864, you were allowed to catch the ball on a bounce for an out. And they said, uh, that's not manly enough. They said, any boy of five can catch the ball on a bounce. Let's make him catch the ball on a fly for an out. So what's it like to play without a mitt? Believe it or not, you get used to it. What you don't do, you get used to when you have a glove at stabbing at the ball because you can get the ball stuck in the glove. What you learn to do is cradle the ball back into your hands when you're, trying to, when you're catching it with no glove. The vintage game was held outside the old stone house in Washington Park, a place with rich history. It was the site of the largest battle of the Revolutionary War and uh, became renowned in history as a brave stand by the Marylanders, went on to continue as a family farm, and then in the 1880s became known as Washington Park, one of the first professional ball fields in the country. And the Brooklyn Baseball Club is the team that played here. The house was still in its original location, and it was the clubhouse for the team that eventually became the Brooklyn Dodgers, because that's what the Brooklyn Baseball Club was. In the winters, they would this would turn into ice, and they would just play turn into ice. Yes, and they play baseball on ice. That's exactly right, and that was very, very common. They used to play baseball on ice in Prospect Park. They used to play it in Central Park. They used to play it in on on the Capitol Line and uh, Union Grounds, which was which were in uh, Bedford Stuyvesant and Williamsburg. Now, if I were watching the game back in 1864 as a spectator, I might be eating something like this: apple cornbread topped with butter and ham. Pretty good. Since baseball at this time wasn't played in stadiums, we didn't have hot dogs yet, what we're serving today is really like what would have been eaten, um, fair food, um, at parties, picnics, things like that, so it's appropriate for this. So we're doing popcorn balls in three different flavors. Um, rose water, which was popular before vanilla became less expensive, and we're also doing hot tongue on cornbread too. You know, I think this brings together so many great things about this neighborhood and about Brooklyn. Uh, you've got this wonderful park here right next to a school and they work really closely together and then what Kim Mayer and her team at the Old Stone House have done uh, in promoting the renovation of the park and bringing great things here that help connect to Brooklyn's history uh, both the Revolutionary War history of the park but then things like vintage baseball uh, just great. We always try to bring everybody back to the way that when baseball without the contracts without the steroids I mean this is a simple game everybody out here is not playing for money there is nobody getting paid here nobody at all you know we're playing it for the love of the game. A love that's shared by old and new generations alike. For In The Zone I'm Lauren Moraski. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV. 